What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a Patreon request. This is from a free dweeb, I think, is it? Uh, this is Gyro Zeppeli with his spinning ball and his stand uh, ball breaker. So, let's go. I'm on landscape orientation paper, use a pencil and eraser, an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So, tricky enough, he's got a head tilt, we've got the spinning ball and the stand, so take your time. Try have fun. So let's go. Cool character. Probably one of the coolest characters. One of definitely one of the favorite characters. Like really popular in all JoJo. So I'm gonna start with his hat, right? So just to get sort of everything in sort of the correct place, you just you're slicing through your page in this direction, okay? He's his hat is real big. So right there. And the ridges for it come up the side and then we go back that way and then the other will go back this way right <clears throat> so that's his hat and the top of it is here with the goggles and all that kind of stuff okay so we might as well finish the hat so just to get sort of everything sort of positioned then we can get his eyes in and we get we got this is the sort of angle of the head tilt as well okay so we got a goggle here. Yeah, so like coming around this way. And they're kind of odd shaped, so that, you know, they're not like perfect circles or anything, so they make it kind of easier. Easier for us. Thank you, Araki. And then it's sort of joined to the other one, just with a line like that. And then it has an edge sort of area like that. And then gaps where he sort of looks out when he has his when he has them on and they could be colored in real dark so then the other one round you know kind of odd shape you know overly sort of round it kind of reminded me of potatoes that is like the most irish thing i've ever said but they do, they kind of have that shape. <laughs> Potatoes, God. I could have said anything. I could have said a rock, but I said potato. Top of the morning, dear. Um, so then this comes down. This sort of edge line here. And then we've got like these dark sections. Long sort of lines here. So, and then the rims and the edges of them, so like the strap that goes around the hat, the way it's held on, just here, like so. You know, hatching and things like that. And then the top of that hat, so bumping, going around. Diagonal, this way, and down around there so it's kind of like you know it's not like a pristine hat you know it's kind of floppy and you know it's got like <clears throat> it's got folds and things and the inside of it here kind of like an ellipse or an oval sort of thing Okay. Some hatching and, and then we got some gaps in the hat as well. It's like ventilation or something. Because it's so hot. Like so. And like some more sticking out around here, just on the rim of his hat. Kind of an interesting hat design. I wonder. I've never seen a hat design like this, basically. I wonder where he got the idea. Like, because it wouldn't keep the rain out or anything. I know it's for shade. But, uh, anyway. 
um, and then the edge of it comes down here and we've got like some gaps in under here as well <clears throat> so eye right um, the, we'll start with the eyebrow just down here right so just underneath this part of the goggle sort of here his nose and his eye and stuff is in sort of this area right because like the line for his face he's it's three quarter and the head is tilted so like the curved line for his face will go down that way if that makes sense so then this curves around we got this sort of tick that goes up goes underneath his hat there and then it'll come out the other side down back up right and then down to here back up Right. <clears throat> so frowning quite heavily and then his eye yeah so we'll do this eye first so just underneath the eyebrow so quite thick so we go diagonal and then it goes this way all right like so and sort of comes down the back here and in jojo they're quite thick <coughs> Excuse me. Quite thick eyelid lines. And then the bottom. So it's like here. Underneath. Around. Like so. And we just thicken this up as well. He always makes the eyelashes quite thick. Yeah, maybe some eyelash lines coming out from that and then an eyelid comes out from the eyebrow down there like so and some sort of brow line or something going there and then the quintessential jojo jawline going down that way then his iris curves around here a half circle like so pupil underneath the eyelid like that <clears throat> and then we have like a sideburn here goes up behind his ear you could have texture lines just there the other eye right we can't see much of it so we can just see these sort of frown lines for his for his brow here, go up underneath his hat. I'm just thickening up the rim of his hat and just to make it stand out a little bit more. Right, like that, and then, so his eye, so he's got like this <clears throat> line for hair, like a big spike. Her hair comes down this way right and then we've got his eye and his eyebrow and stuff coming out from here so eyebrow will just go underneath the hat top eyelid will go across here underneath that hair and then the bottom eyelid around that somewhere there and it's like quite a thick line again and then there's an iris semicircle half circle just in here underneath his eye pupil same thing So, usually there is like, there isn't in the picture, but I'm going to draw them in. There's usually like highlights in the eyes in Jojo. So, I'm going to add them and maybe some like lines like that just in the eye, just some extra details there. 
Um, so then his nose. So we're in three quarters, so we can see the side of his nose. And it goes diagonal that way. And then we'll bring it back up. And around for the nostril on the side. And we can actually see the nostril here, the hole for it, like so. And then there's some <clears throat> shadow sort of highlight lines just going around the bridge of his nose here. Like so. And then maybe some hatching just underneath his eye coming from his eyebrow. Sort of like that, and some on the other side. Like so. So his mouth, so we, real big, right? So starts over here, curves up and down. Really big, like that. That's like the middle lip, so sort of the, the middle of his mouth. <coughs> and then it goes back on this side, like so. And then you can add a little bit of a top lip line, just there, it's not all drawn in. And something on the back, going that way as well. Then his bottom lip, very big now, comes around like so. Big Jojo lips. <laughs> Maybe some hatching here. You could sometimes add some hatching on the top lip. And his chin, right? So we're in three quarters, so we can just see the jaw on this side and the side of his face on this side. So jaw goes up to the ear on this side and like we can see his cheek sort of over here. So the chin just sort of comes around this way, right? And this will come up to a jaw, up to his ear. Like that. But, you know, you're kind of underneath the sideburn kind of thing here. And then it changes direction up to like there. And then his earlobe and ear will go up underneath his hat. And in Jojo, you know, especially in the manga, they're kind of big round boxer's ears. They always remind me of boxer's ears. <clears throat> Does he have an earring? No. It looks like an earlobe. I thought he had some, like, something there. Maybe that was my imagination. So they're, they're always remind me of like boxer's collie or like a rugby player's cauliflower ears. You know? Do you know what cauliflowers are? Maybe not. So it's like when boxers like have done so much damage to their ear, they get kind of swollen and round and stuff. <coughs> but anyway, the other side of the face comes up this way, and curves around up to here. And in this image, right, he has a cross underneath his eye. He doesn't, like, normally. This is, like, obviously a, a sort of a special promotional image of him, maybe. There's, like, this classic sort of cross, a, a sort of historical cross-looking thing. So it comes down. I'm going to draw it in because I think it looks cool. Comes up here. Round, like so. Down to there. Like so, and then the other arm goes up here. Down like that. Like it's cool. And then he's got those metal, those golden metal plates coming down his jawline. They actually wrap around his face, but we can just see this side of them. Maybe one here. Neck, right, comes down from his ear. So his head is tilted forward, so we can see like the back of his neck here. And then this side of his neck, just like here. And then like his trapezius goes down that way. 
and then its collar sticks out this way. The other side of it kind of goes underneath another hair spike here, here smaller one. Right, so this big hair spike, I'll finish that, so that'll go up towards here. <coughs> And then down behind his shoulder then and the underside of his cap just there so there's all texture lines on his hair but we'll do that in a minute when we add some more hair and his shoulder and stuff here so this goes around down this goes around back this way push it right down here Right, so this comes down. Like that, so that's like his collar. Then this could have like an edge line here. lines and stuff <clears throat> so it's done in that sort of Iraqi sort of style so you know shadows dark shadows some lines some darker lines he's a very distinct way of drawing I like it I do like it. I like the aesthetic especially in the manga You know, it really looks like he like he uses a brush sometimes, you know, like he'll just go over certain parts with a brush to thicken them up. Yeah, and he'll do it quite loose. It's cool. And then this comes down for his hair. And then we got like texture lines for his hair, like here. So, and then like, texture, like here, and texture coming down. Yeah, it's optional how much texture you want to do, of course. His shoulder comes down here. It sticks out this way and then he's got like a short sleeve just comes down his arm that way do, do, do. <coughs> yeah. like so and then so shoulder on the other side we can see like a strap over here right and we got like some bumps and stuff this strap kind of bumps up and over his shoulder goes down this way and we got like some golden or green sorry not golden orbs on his sleeve right so one like bumps out here somewhere his arm goes down. I think the other one you can barely see it, but it's like there. Okay, it's quite bumpy now for those straps. <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Like you could do like cloth clothing, it moves, and you know you could like change the shape of the bumps and stuff. It doesn't have to be exactly the way I'm doing it. I'm not like I'm not copying the image exactly. You know, like I'm just getting it kind of just on his shoulder in the right place and. Then sort of just, you know, because maybe that day the strap was a little bit different, you know. <laughs> you don't have to be too precious about things like that. And then that curves down that way. And then the other side will go underneath sort of his armpit. 
put it there. And then we got like a line coming down that way. Now, if I go too fast, just hit pause. Sorry now, if I, but just I'm mindful of the time. And then go down that way, another line there. So something else here. <clears throat> some fold lines or something there, some hatching on his shoulder, like some lines on his skin on his arm there, like a shadow in here. And the other strap on his shoulder is it's smaller, so it goes around his chest muscle on this side. Because we're in three quarter pose, we can't see as much of, like, see the center line for his body, so this side is like a little bit smaller than the other because the shoulder is slightly turned away from us so when things go away from you in drawing they get smaller that's a key thing to remember so when you're drawing jojo characters especially you know they're in all these crazy poses that I mean this is a relatively simple one for Jojo but you know they're dynamic and moving and <clears throat> collarbone sort of line or for his for his clothing collar here and then we have green orbs all on so you just add these sort of circles one two one underneath the hair Another layer down here. Or another one. There, can we see another one here? Yeah. One more somewhere. We'll go just here. It might fit this whole one in. Yeah. Like that. And then we have, like, it's they're joined by these crisscross lines. these sorts of hatching <clears throat> just to give them a sort of sense that they're a little bit raised up it's a simple way of just making them look like they have a bit of tone or form like so like his chest starts here Like so, okay. Orb there, sorry, I'm just, did I forget anything? A little bit of hair here. So what we're gonna do is add <coughs> ball breaker and, what a name, huh? <laughs> but ball breaker and a spinning, one of his spinning uh, orbs just here and the ball breaker kind of just floating above it. So, you got if you had something circular that would fit in here for you, so, like, is this, <clears throat> that's too small, but anything at all. And if not, we'll, we'll go for the, so we'll get like our edges of the circle. So like here, here, there. All right, so roughly, I'm gonna try and circleify this. Difficult, you know, compass would be better, but hey. Right, so roughly speaking like that, right, and then you'll just... And 
because it's like spinning anyway, even if it looks kind of sketchy, that'll be okay. Just want to get that general circle shape. <clears throat> so then, right, to make it look like it's sort of spinning and it's all going crazy, right, we're going to add these um, sort of directional lines, right? So it's kind of like remind me of like what Saturn Saturn's rings you know going around there and we go around this way and we just right like so and of course if you go over the edge Like what I mean, the edge of the ball, we'll just erase those afterwards. <clears throat> so this kind of thing, okay. Just gives a sort of a feeling of spinning. You know, you don't have to have one on every side, like, you know, you could just stop it there, go to the next one. It's a bit tricky, but like to get the hang of it, it's not, you know, you can leave gaps in them going around. What's the goal? Try to make it look circular. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one more then. So, right, and then, so there's all sort of hatching lines, like <clears throat> curving sort of around, right, your <clears throat> right, so some coming down the side here. diamond shape or something like on it and it's all done with hatching so it's a little bit tricky I know to get the shape but because he has these shapes on the on the board they're kind of like on the ball they're kind of like diamonds and so we've got this sort of spinning detail lines right on the actual ball and that's kind of tricky, I know, to get that kind of shape correct, right? And there's another one on this side. It's kind of like a diamond or something. I'm just doing this roughly now. I'm not even worried. I'm just doing these hatching lines following the direction. Of the ball. Some, the edge here might be a little bit darker. So what you do to, to make it darker is just put your hatching closer together. Okay. It's 
quite dark down at the bottom down here as well. Might be some real thick black sections. <clears throat> Might add an extra sort of line just there. Okay, so that's basically this the spinning orb, right? And you can add like some on the edge. Okay. And then we'll add ball breaker just above. Okay. So the stand, right? So he's kind of lunging towards us and he's got like these big Mickey Mouse ears. No offense, ball breaker. But we'll start with those, right? So, <clears throat> so where do we put them? So we'll put them in here, okay? So we'll just go around that way, right? And then we'll go back around. It's kind of this flat sort of ellipse sort of shape. here and then we have another one on this side right? might crisscross with his hat a little bit but that's okay we can erase any lines we shouldn't see yes yeah, so it does a bit so it goes we'll go this way and we can erase those hat lines I'll do that now All right and then edge line sort of a rim we're going around these like so right so his head right so it joins them together so it just goes across here then the side of the head comes down this side and down here roughly you know, like so and then his jaw comes down here to the chin which comes across and up that way, just a rough shape of a head there. And then in there we have six eyes, right? So we've got one, two, and they're all over the place. They're not like beside one another or anything. It's like three, another one here, four, Six, and there's all lines that come down from them. So you just go down. Like so, roughly speaking. <clears throat> okay, so then shoulder, right, trice tricep and stuff comes out here not tricep uh, trapezius that's what it is and then this comes down <coughs> and this will go down a little bit further across his hat we can erase those hat lines and it joins his chest, right? So his chest line comes down here. So he's kind of flying towards us, right? So you can just sort of see his his chest and center of his chest. Sort of comes across, down, back up. Back up towards this side of his arm just here. <coughs> shoulder line he's got like these round parts on his shoulders I'll just erase this line for Zeppeli's hat so we've got like a pink jewel or something on this side and then his tricep comes down there his bicep sort of comes out from here and then his elbow comes down like so to forearm we've got 
like another line for his arm here and another round sort of jewel on the forearm. And then we have the shapes on his bicep, <clears throat> like crisscross lines here. Go down like so. Another one on his elbow, sort of back of his forearm. Kind of like Spider-Man's webs, you know. <clears throat> Sorry about the coughing. Um, and the other arm is kind of outstretched here, but we have another jewel on this shoulder somewhere, like here. And then we have a pattern that comes down its chest, so it comes down like so, back up, down the middle, and then it comes back up here, down to there, back up there, to here, up to there. And it's a double line, so you just do that shape again, trace around. so far so his other arm uh, oh he's got another orb or something there so then his other arm right, so we go out out towards his elbow and this comes down this way and I think some of these fingers now will go over this orb like on top here so we might have to erase some more lines so this comes around an orb on his or a jewel on his hand there and then his wrist here and here and then the bicep will go in underneath his chest there and we got some more of those patterns like that okay I think we can see like some of his abdominals or something like a, an extra part of his body just sort of floating here. So then fingers, right? So let's see. No easy way of doing this. Let's just go one, one knuckle. Two knuckle, <clears throat> right? So like, like a letter M starts off, and then this one goes up to that finger, and then this goes down. So we'll have to erase some stuff now down here, around to there. And this goes around, up into there, <clears throat> and then his thumb. It comes around this way. So it's like he's got his hand on the orb, sort of thing, right? So the thumb comes down, up, like so, All right? And then, so this finger comes down here back in, back up into there somewhere. And then we have another finger comes down this way, back around. It's probably hard to see this hand now, apologize for that. <coughs> but it'll be clear when I raise the lines. Then the bottom of his hand, just comes down, goes back up, back down here. And then we can see a little bit of his little finger. And before I draw the bottom of it, I'll just erase. Well, no, I'll draw it and then erase. 
like that. Okay. So I'll just raise what we shouldn't see. Right, so hopefully this hand is a little more clear now. Right, and then he's got like a line on his forearm and another sort of Spider-Man type deal. You know, these sort of netting sort of effects. And two jewels here. <clears throat> Some crisscross lines on this. Right there. And then the other hand just over this side, right? So comes out kind of more standard sort of hand shape. Around for the thumb into there. <coughs> and then his index finger. Out around. Back up. Middle finger. ring finger and then little finger <clears throat> like so right but I think that's the best I can do that's how to draw gyros epily with ball breaker hope it's helpful thank you for the request freaked weeb anyone else has a specific request like this they need me to do and they can afford it head over to patreon send me a message Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.